people are craving kind of human contact now. Are you seeing an increase in voice traffic across the platform? Are you seeing an increase in chat? Or is one taking over the other where people just on their computers, they want to get things done faster? Or no, they've actually shifted more towards voice communication. Call volumes have gone through the roof. I'm, I'm very curious to see what, pl what providers will come back with. Yeah, you know, um, I've, I've been in this space for, in the contact center space for, you know, almost 20 years. And, you know, I've heard, you know, back in my days of Nuance, you know, we were doing self-service, you know, you know um, and, uh, you know, voice was going to be dead. And it was all about self-service yeah. and, and call deflection and, you know, um, and, and, and voice is not dead. I mean, voice continues to actually grow. Um, yeah. And yeah, in this pandemic, people want to talk to somebody. They want to understand, especially if they're calling about COVID and I want, I have questions, um, you know, uh, and, and they want to talk to somebody. They want to talk to their doctor or, or what have you. So yeah, voice, voice is exploding. Um, but just, you know, even prior to, to the pandemic, um, we were seeing, you know, voice is not declining, but we are seeing an uptick um, in chat. And, um, and so having, you know, we've got, you know, integrations into WhatsApp. So if you're, you know, in Europe, you know, so there are different channels that are prevalent depending on the region and the globe you are. Um, and so it's important for us, you know, in, in kind of different generations want to communicate you know, with their, you know, their, their vendor differently. And so some want to just chat. I don't want to talk to anybody. And so we need to, we, need to offer that. And so we're, we, we, we were seeing kind of an uptick of the, of the digital channel. Um, but voice is, is by far still the prevalent channel um, for our, for our customers.